Hidden amidst the verdant rolling hills of County Wexford Island, stands the majestic Dunbrody Abbey, a relic of medieval Ireland. Its time-worn stones whisper tales of faith, power, and turbulent history. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the centuries to explore the story of this Cistercian Abbey and the enduring legacy it holds for Ireland. The origins of Dunbrody Abbey can be traced back to 1170, a period of monumental change for Ireland. The Anglo-Norman invasion had begun, and one of its most notable figures, Hervé de Montmorency, a Norman knight, would play a pivotal role in the creation of this abbey. Montmorency was granted vast tracts of land in Wexford by his nephew, Richard de Clare, better known as Strongbow, the leader of the invasion. It was Hervé's pious son, Harvey de Montmorency II, who founded the abbey in 1170 as a symbol of devotion and penance, an effort to seek favor in the eyes of God after his years of war. Construction began in 1182, under the supervision of Cistercian monks, an order known for their emphasis on simplicity, prayer, and manual labor. They built Dunbrody in the Gothic style, a hallmark of the Cistercian architectural vision. The imposing stone structure was a testament to the monks' hard work and dedication, but also to the political power the abbey represented. The Cistercians were not only men of God, but also shrewd land managers. Over time, Dunbrody Abbey became one of the wealthiest religious institutions in the region, owning vast tracts of land, mills, and even fishing rights. The Abbey's monks had a significant influence on the economy of Wexford, shaping the lives of the local peasantry through their control of agriculture and trade. But life here wasn't without its hardships. As with many religious houses of the time, the abbey was periodically ravaged by war, famine, and even the notorious Black Death of the mid-14th century. Ireland in the late 12th and 13th centuries was a patchwork of power struggles, as Gaelic kings clashed with Anglo-Norman lords. Dunbrody Abbey often found itself caught in the middle of these tensions, with its vast resources making it a target for raids and destruction. In 1368, an attack by Gaelic forces nearly destroyed the abbey, but the resilient monks rebuilt, each time restoring it to its former glory. Despite these challenges, the abbey endured for centuries, serving as a place of quiet contemplation, but also as a powerful economic and political institution. Its monks followed the strict rules of St. Benedict, praying eight times a day, working in the fields and copying manuscripts. For generations, this abbey was a beacon of faith, education, and service to the surrounding community. But the winds of change were about to sweep across Ireland, bringing with them the storm of the Reformation.
In 1536, King Henry VIII declared himself head of the Church of England, breaking with the Catholic Church. This seismic shift marked the beginning of the dissolution of monasteries across the British Isles, including in Ireland. Dunbrody Abbey, like so many others, would not escape this fate. In 1542, Dunbrody Abbey was dissolved, its monks were dispersed, and its vast estates were confiscated by the English crown. The abbey was handed over to a local Anglo-Irish family, the Etchingham family, who transformed it into a fortified house. The Cistercian dream of peace and prayer at Dunbrody had come to an end, but even in its ruin, the abbey remained a symbol of the enduring clash between old traditions and new forces that would shape Ireland's history. Today, Dunbrody Abbey stands as a silent witness to the passing of time. Visitors come to walk among its ruins, to imagine the lives of the monks who once lived and worked here. Its towering walls, though weathered, still inspire awe and wonder. But Dunbrody's legacy is more than just stone. It's a story of faith, conflict, survival and transformation. The abbey represents the very fabric of Ireland's past, the Norman influence, the rise and fall of religious institutions, and the inevitable march of history. As you walk these grounds, it's impossible not to feel the weight of history beneath your feet. Dunbrody Abbey may now be in ruins, but its spirit endures, a testament to Ireland's rich and complex history. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Dunbrody Abbey. If you enjoyed learning about this incredible piece of Irish history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. See you in the next adventure.